end of the season I'm fishing up a small stream. I'll show you the hole in a minute, but I've been getting 12 inches and stuff with this little little dandy popped up. He's uh he's close to 17. Really nice out of that little spot though. He's got he's kind of got striping all the way down to the belly. That's there he goes. But a uh, pretty fish. Beautiful little spot. Little vine or branch comes trailing down here. All the way down into this, so I had to run up, hold my rod tip up to the left to try and fight him out of that bank. That was a really fun little fight. That little tussle suggests I size up to 3x. Good opportunity to go up a long flat here. My approach came up some faster current, so I might get pretty close to these guys. Nice depth, nice foam line. Check those undercuts. He came downstream for it. A little bit of sand in this stream, but it's pretty firm. There's a lot of corners cut out and deep bends. Some rock work looks a little older, but a really nice mix of water flats and things. Getting out of the woods here. We'll see if it continues to be as productive. I believe I see some of the sand up there. The rise up there, right, right above the shade. You often find these kind of paler fish living over sand. Their jaws look kind of translucent. Still pretty. There's an old lunker. Must have got washed down a while ago. No, 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 no. A little masterpiece. That, that was a gorgeous fish. He just shot up. You could tell what he was right away.
risers up in the flat there. Pretty one. Up in the entry chute there. Well, they seem a lot bigger when they come out of those little little wedge of water. Just I saw a little rise over here, but he kind of sipped it over in this area. That's that's far enough. It looks like I'm horsing them in. They're all kind of jumping downstream and coming at me, so I, there's no choice. I got to keep them tight and short. He was hanging under some grass tips there. I positioned myself on the right a little bit so I could uh, get kind of a 45 degree angle. He came out right under those tips right there. Fish in the tails, they just go running up. Hmm. Alert to everyone. Brookie. Brookie. Let's see him nice quick. physique for how small he is. Both of the fish I've caught on the beetle have been brookies. Way back. Yeah, and then I just move it. Nice. Another brook? You know? Yeah. Oh. Guess we're only getting in. Wrong. Oh. Greedy boy. Maybe three. Oh. He went after it when it moved. Yeah. He did some motion. Oh! Beauty. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if I stole it from him. I probably went just a bit yeah. too fast. Oh, you see that? He's what the? F followed it. Looked at it twice. Gave it the old hairy eyeball. The old hairy eyeball. That's probably a brown, huh? Undecided on eating. All right, this is getting weird. Is that a brook? No, nope, brown. This is a brown. <laughs> I posed them for you. Yeah, in the flats sometimes, but I don't know. Well, Brooke. You went head over heels? Back to Brookies. Ah, he's it. He's oh, back in the water. Oh, They're all, out, all over the place under my bugs. Whoa! Oh, what a, what a nice take, man. He got it on the way up and kept, kept flying. 
I don't know why they think they need to do that. Their jaws are big enough. <laughs> they can just eat it like a normal person. Fish moving up ahead of us. Hey, up brown. Uh, fish survive all year round. Okay. Well, that was fun. Looks like the browns are waking up. I look like a brookie. Orange <laughs> color. There he is. Cool. 